what is up guys it's because i'm bringing you back another youtube video today and today we are reviewing the purple double seat cushion it has two sides to it one firmer and one softer side and it's going to be sitting right on this gaming chair this gaming chair is uh one i got about a year ago from amazon it's from a cheap chinese company it came rusted and it's not height adjustable so it sits really low and one of the reasons why i got this purple seat cushion is to lift myself higher off the ground i know it's about two inches thick but that helps at least a little and it's way more comfortable than this hard rock solid seat it's very uncomfortable but it does look cool i must say so myself all right let's get right into this review As you can see guys, it's right here, right out of the box. And it's original retail packaging. Here's the look at the back side. You guys can do the famous egg test. I'm not gonna do that because I don't really care. As long as it's comfortable for me, I don't care about the damn egg test. All right, let's open this baby up. And I'm struggling. So give me about 10 minutes and I'll get back to you guys when I can figure out how to open this box. All right, I guess I just need to use some muscle strength. And it opens just like this. Wow, this is actually uh, quite bigger than I thought it was. Very squishy, obviously. Definitely has a smell to it. A lot of people complain about the smell. All right, and let's put this thing in the case. Before I put it in the case, I thought you guys actually might want to see the case just by itself. So I didn't do that yet. But it also came with this kind of instruction manual right here. So you guys can have a nice look at the instruction manual for yourselves real quick if you'd like. This is what the case is like. It's made out of a nice fabric. The back side, as you guys can see, is nice and it's got like a texture on the back that'll help keep the seat cushion from sliding. It's also got handles for you to carry the seat cushion around, which is pretty nice. All right, people, I took it out of the box, put it inside of the sleeve, I put it on top of the chair, and I tried out both the softer and firmer side. I think both of them are very comfortable. The firmer side is definitely gonna be better for longer gaming sessions, and the softer side is definitely gonna be better for shorter gaming sessions, and not just gaming sessions, I mean like office work, watching movies, whatever you're doing. I actually realized I didn't give you guys a good view of both sides of the seat cushion, so here is the softer side. And here is the firmer side. As far as durability goes, the seat cushion has been holding up pretty well. As you can see with the cover off, there aren't really any tears or anything like that. So I have been having some problems with the grip on the seat cushion. Anytime I leaned back in my chair, the seat cushion would just slide along with me. And that was honestly really annoying, especially considering the price of this thing. Uh, it just kept sliding back and forth, but obviously they didn't really take away from the comfort. It was just super annoying when I was playing video games, video editing, or watching movies. I was constantly having to readjust the seat cushion to get it back in the right spot. This is what the back of the seat cushion sleeve looks like. This is the part that is supposed to grip onto whatever surface you're putting the seat cushion on. And this is also the part that I was saying didn't do a fantastic job for me. If you're really worried about the smell, I will say that it's definitely started to go away. And if you're really, really worried about it, Purple does have instructions on how to get rid of the smell on their website. That includes hand washing it. And I believe there's a couple of other ways to do it as well. If you do decide to buy this seat cushion and you don't like it for whatever reason, the first couple hours you try it out, I do recommend using it for at least a couple of days before you decide to return it because it may get much more comfortable for you in a couple of days as you get used to the seat cushion and both sides of the seat cushion. Definitely don't buy this thing if you're expecting to be sitting on a cloud. This is a seat cushion. It definitely provides extra comfort, but it's not meant to be extremely comfortable. Basically what this seat cushion is gonna help you do is work, play video games, or do whatever you do for extended periods of time without feeling too much pressure or pain. I would give this seat cushion a 7.8 out of 10. I also want to put a little disclaimer out there just to let you guys know this video is not sponsored by Purple by any means. I only have 43 subscribers at the point of me making this video so there's no way Purple would even want to come to me. But I just really wanted to put that out there just so you guys know that these are my views and I'm not being biased. And I'll always keep it real with you guys. Luckily for you guys, you don't have to hear my voice anymore. This is the end of the video. Please don't forget to leave a like or dislike down below. If you have any questions, criticisms, or feedback, just let me know in the comments down below. It actually took me like probably 10 hours to edit this video. 
As you can tell, there were definitely a lot of cuts in this video. There's probably a total of only three different angles shot in this entire video. This video definitely wasn't the most professional video you've seen from a new YouTuber, but this video was really meant to just be practice for me. And I've got a lot of time on my hands now, so I'm going to be dedicating a lot of time towards becoming a better filmmaker, editor, and overall YouTuber. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.